Today, a North Texas couple protested right in front of the White House. They're hoping to meet ultimately with President Biden or maybe somebody from his staff so they can ultimately win the release of their son. A United States Marine who's being held in a Russian prison. He's been there since 2019. Jack Fink has been looking into this today. A little update on what maybe came of today's protest. Jack? Well, Doug, still no word yet if a meeting will happen, but a spokesman for Paula and Joey Reed told me earlier stay tuned. The couple say they'll be in Washington until Friday, but will stay longer if necessary. President Biden said this afternoon that he and his staff are trying to arrange a meeting with the couple. We want to meet with the president and we outside the White House, Paula and Joey Reed are keeping the pressure on President Biden. They hope a meeting with him or his staff will help gain the release of their son Trevor from Russia, where he's been held for about three years. During President Biden's visit to Fort Worth three weeks ago, he saw the Granberry couple stand outside where he was set to speak, and he called them to say his staff would set up a meeting. And we wanted to uh, be here to bring attention to Trevor's case and to let them know that we did not forget. We're waiting for that phone call, and we want the meeting that the, pro the president promised us. Inside the White House today, reporters asked the president if he would meet with the Reeds. I'm going to see if I can get to see them. They're, today? Good, they're good people. I have them. We're trying to work that out. Trevor Reed was sentenced to nine years in prison back in July of 2020 after being convicted of assaulting two Russian police officers when they say he was drunk. His father says there was plenty of evidence showing their son is innocent. Now the couple say their son's health is deteriorating. And when they brought him back to his prison, he said, I, I need to go back. I'm still hurt and sick. And they put him in uh, solitary confinement again. They say they hope the U.S. and Russia will swap prisoners. The uh, Russians that have been in our prisons for a long time, and, uh, and we think that they need to do what uh, President Obama did, what President Trump did, and trade to bring these Americans home. The Reeds say they are worried the Russians will file other false charges against their son. They're also concerned because on Monday morning they say their son began his second hunger strike. Doug?